is. For ages, man has stalked this prey. This animal's survival depends on his natural instincts. But as aware as he may be, he is no match for man. Let's go. Through the years, man has learned to read this animal's sign and to use this knowledge to outwit his prey. Man often assumes the mannerisms of the animal, so as not to frighten him off. Do you believe these clowns? <laughs> okay. Now, it's about as close as we can get. So you stay close to me. Hey! <laughs> and keep quiet. Come on. This is no a man in his bush. In his haste to outwit his prey, man oftentimes will drop his guard and is confronted by the unexpected. Stand up, stupid. The bigger you look to them, the safer you are. Hi, how's it going? Of course, that's only a theory. I just love hunting season. <laughs> Through the ages, the story of man versus animal has remained unchanged. Since the beginning of time, man has been a provider. This is man, his woman, their child. Two children, three kids, his herd of kids, and so man became a hunter. He had to. Many hunters began hunting at an early age. How many of you remember your first target? Warriors became hunters out of necessity. Hey, Chief, where's the beef? Some men are born hunters. They then seek to provide food for their family. This requires them to be alert to test their hunting skills, to move with swiftness so that they might take advantage of an opportunity to provide for their loved ones. Oh, put the can on. Hunting provides man with the opportunity to challenge the wild. Some men have a natural feel for hunting. Man's ability to outwit any prey has always made him superior to the animal kingdom. He was born with a natural hunting instinct. He will track his prey, survey the territory, and then strike. In providing food for the family, hunters will often select a common target, thus the expression, fair game. In primitive times, this often led to hunters fighting each other for the same prey. What are you doing, you bonehead? Pig. The hunter with the most patience usually what takes home the trophy. Be dead. Since man is a natural-born provider, it is possible for any man to become an accomplished hunter. Well, almost any man. On that note, let's go hunting. Hunting is not just a walk in the woods. A hunter has to brave the elements. Let's see what the well-dressed hunter should wear. Music, please. In preparation for a day in the woods, let's first find the proper clothing for our two hunters. The renowned designer of clothes for hunters, Bullets DeFranco, proudly introduces his fall line of hunting attire. Now, this hunter has donned a pair of Bullet's colorful, outdoor, heavy-duty hunting socks and sockets. They come in several hunter colors and sport the racing stripe elastic band. So sit down, take a load off in style. By the way, these wool jobs can get just a little gamey after a few days. So why not give your fellow hunters a break and take along an extra pair or two? That's Mr. DeFranco's socks and sockets for the hunting feet. Don't leave home without them. Our next hunter sports the popular perma-tuck hunting shirt. 
No more constant tucking that shirt tail in for this brave hunter. The crotch lock keeps his shirt in place from dawn to dusk. Quite a relief not to worry about an unsightly shirt tail, right? Mm -hmm. With Bullet's perma-tuck shirt, this hunter can walk the walk and talk the talk. Right, just coming off the circulation there. <laughs> now our next fashion-conscious outdoorsman has given a great deal of thought to his pants. The colors make his pants part of the colorful fall foliage, and the soft-brushed cotton cloth lets our hunter glide through underbrush without a sound. This hunter wisely chose Bullet's Track It jacket with matching camo hood. This jacket's deep pockets provide plenty of room for a chilly trigger finger to warm up. Brisk winds won't buffet this hunter on the long trek back to the campsite. This pattern features Bullet's popular broken branch pattern beautifully highlighted with a blaze orange background. This fashion statement screams, let's go hunting. Hunting look, Whoa. it's Bullet's camo uh, jacket for you. Whether you choose to hunt on the ground or from a perch in a tree, these reversible jackets double your fun. Wear one side for warmth and the other to protect you from the wind. Just sit there. This thing. Oh, you crazy. I'll fall off the screen. You won't fall, I promise you. Just get it off. And both sides of this reversible jacket make our hunters practically impossible to see. No question about it, you'll have to look twice to spot these guys. <laughs> Snappy winter breezes keep our two hunters on the move. They protect themselves with a blaze white overslicker and disguise themselves with muted gray winter tones. Smart and snappy, that's what keeps these two snowballs on the go. <laughs> and away they go. We've seen what the well-dressed hunters wear on the business end of a gun, but what about at day's end? For our finale, our two tired hunters are outfitted in Bullet's classic after-the-shoot wear. Our hunters will feel right at home exchanging tails with the other hunters at the lodge. With their game bags filled, they'll be here long past the cocktail hour telling about the 10-point buck that got away. How about a nice hand for our model hunters? for the creator who made it all possible, Bullets DeFranco and his exquisite line of downwind fashion. Thanks, boys. Once you've selected the area you are going to hunt in, just jump in the old wagon and head for the hills. To be honest, it's good for a man to get back to nature, to spend some time with a fellow hunter. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Man's country. Mm -hmm. You know something? But it's good for a guy to get away from his wife for a while. Oh, yeah. I mean, I love her and all that stuff. But... I don't, you know, they get into the habit of thinking that you need them for everything. You know, they have to do everything for you like a little baby. We can fend for ourselves. Oh, hunt your own food, you know? <laughs> Cook it ourselves. There you go. <laughs> With all due respect, uh, uh, how could anyone lose a map? I didn't lose it. I got it mixed up. They were both side by side on the table. I got the wrong one. All maps are the same. Not to worry. Sure about that. I'm positive. Okay. Are we on a tow road here? No, I don't think so. I don't like what's going on here. Let's see now. Wait a minute. Hold it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold it. Just hold it. No, 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 no. No, we're all right. Let's no, see. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Hold no. it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All maps are alike, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. Are you sure? Positive. I got a funny feeling. No, 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 no. Okay. That's it. I have a clue where we are. All maps are the same, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, according to this now, we should go down to the light and turn left at the mall. You know what I think about you and your map? Huh? This is what I think about it! We need the map. 
Why? I have the phone number of the lodge on the map. Beginning to get on my nerves a little bit. You know that? Uh-huh. Brother. Here's a catalog item for you hunters who shop by mail. This backpack will contain most of your supplies. Take all you need, but need all you take. Remember, don't overpack. <laughs> Equipment and supplies should be carefully thought out. Make sure you packed all the right stuff. You'll need it. Hey, Matt. Match. 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 <laughs> nice fire going. Gum. 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 Gum? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, oh, never mind. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Just uh, hand me the water. 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 Units. Peanuts. Peanuts. Yeah, well, uh, peanuts. You brought peanuts. Look, uh, supposing we go over the list of the things that we were supposed to bring on this trip, and when I run across something that you actually brought, you say, I got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Sugar. Coffee. Water. Coffee pot. Coffee pot. Got coffee pot. There you go. Coffee pot. Oh, boy. Okay, bread. Cheese. Canned meat. Mustard. Mustard. I got one. No, mustard. Mustard. No, you brought mustard. Peanuts? No. No, thanks. Compass. Mm. Flashlight? That would have been good. Dry socks? TV guide. TV guide. What? There you go. I can't believe you. Oh, well, why don't I just go check the TV guide, see what's on TV, while you put on a pot of mustard? Right. I'm gonna go. I've seen this done in the movies. You just rub a couple of sticks together, you get your fire. She'll be going in a minute. Wanna sing? Yo! Mm. Out like a light. Share. The most popular object of a hunter's quest is the deer. Deer hunters make themselves as familiar with a deer's routines as the deer himself. One sign of a deer in the area is the presence of rubs. <laughs> Habits of a deer are inbred, and if read correctly, will lead you directly to the deer. Let's take the time to learn exactly what a rub is and what it means to the hunter. A deer rubs the bark from a tree trunk. I said, tree trunk. They rub the tree and leave their scent on the tree to establish their breeding territory. This is a signal to other deer that this part of the woods is taken. It also signals the young does that there's a buck waiting to find his mate. During the mating season, a buck will make hundreds of rubs to mark his territory. 
It's not an easy task, but one that has to be done if he wants to attract a female deer. And so he's off to make his mark in the world. Well, that's one. So the young bucks go about marking their space. Often the older and wiser bucks will wait for a young buck to mark as many as 200 rubs, and then he'll chase off the young buck and take over that part of the wood for himself. Remember, little bucks will rub little trees, and big bucks will rub big trees. But as a young buck reaches maturity, he learns to challenge the old bucks. It's not easy for a young buck to stand back and watch an old buck take over his breeding ground. This often leads to knock-down, drag-out, antler-to-antler brawls. There have been cases where bucks have actually locked antlers and for days been forced to live joined at the head. Another sign of deer in the area are the droppings they leave. Boys, let us examine these pellets. These droppings, or deer pellets, or as some of the hunters refer to them, hoopy doodles, can give you a fair idea of the number of deer in the area. I can demonstrate first. These three piles of pellets can actually tell us what kind of deer deposited them. The first pile of small pellets indicates a doe, fawn, or yearling. These pellets are usually about a half inch in length. The second pile of pellets measures approximately three quarters of an inch and indicates a buck approaching maturity. Fresh pellets obviously indicate that the buck has recently been in the area and may well still be in close range. When you spot a fresh pile, take the time to scout the area. The third pile of pellets measures over an inch in diameter and indicates a mature buck. Besides pellet size, there is another way to read the droppings. A doe excretes individual pellets ranging from 40 to 300 a dropping. A buck's droppings are generally clumped together and are in walnut-sized globs, although they sometimes break apart on impact. Even experienced hunters find it difficult to tell a doe from a buck by the hoof prints, but pellets prove to give the hunters a pretty good indication where the deer are, or certainly where they've been. You can actually attract a deer by carefully digging around the pile of pellets and then moving the pellets to another location, perhaps one closer to your campsite. Remember, a deer often follows the scent of the pellets, oh. so by moving the pellets, you can redirect his path. Remember, fellows, deer pellets Die. can be your friend. Die. Die! Here, a little better over here. How do you like that? Ah. Uh -huh. This catalog item is known as hearing scouts. It enables the hunter to filter out surrounding forest noises and allows him to hear distinct deer sounds. A word of caution, be sure you connect the right wires to the right terminal. A 
A good hunter should learn to read the telltale signs of a deer so he can track him with ease. A deer has a built-in alarm system that automatically alerts him to any enemy. If he hears a foreign sound, he will search the area with his eyes and ears. It is very important that a hunter remain perfectly still because any sudden move will send the deer running. A deer will often try to draw a hunter into the open by approaching him in a relaxed manner. Once he sees there is no danger, he will return to his daily routine. Deer usually relax mid-morning after they've eaten. This is when they enjoy the morning sun. The serious hunter can come much closer to a deer at this time, but if the deer suspects danger, he will take flight. Once you've spotted your deer, the chase begins. Remember, deer are more familiar with the terrain than you are. Good luck. Good hunting. These are a popular catalog item. Deer calls. This bleat call is simple to use, easy to carry, and properly used, a great way to lure a deer. There are many types of manufactured calls being used to lure the deer into range. A bleat call simulates a young deer in distress. What a beauty. For the call. <coughs> Good. <coughs> a doe will instinctively rush to help a bleating young deer, even if it is not her own. Don't stop now. Come on, she stopped. This is the one time that a doe can become violent when she realizes she may have to fight for her baby's lives. Whoa! Oh no, get that nice doe! order from your catalog and with practice you'll be attracting deer are probably the most popular with hunters. mistake hunters make is making the call too loud. <laughs> the grunt call from a buck is meant to attract a doe in heat. Mm-hmm. 
Hello? <laughs> they want to know if you want to subscribe to the newspaper. <laughs> uh, we can't talk right now. We're a little busy out here. We, uh, save a dollar eighty a month. <laughs> yeah, listen. We, we, you get a free cooler. If you get me here, I... Dollar eighty a month. Dollar eighty a month. Cooler. The red one. You have one unplayed message. <laughs> hey, good buddy. Hope you're having good hunting. You get close to one of those big beauties, give them the old mating grunt for me, and they'll come a-running at you. Shut those grunts off. You're attracting deer. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Call 911! Whoa! You got the phone! I don't care to do something! 911! I'm not your A deer's ears are his radar. His ears are also his alarm system. When danger is near, his ears begin to scan the area for an unfamiliar sound. His ears will cut and begin to filter out foreign sounds, such as a hunter's footsteps or his breathing. His ears are able to rotate 180 degrees, making it difficult to approach him from an angle without alerting him. A buck also uses his ears to attract a doe. When he spots a doe in heat, his ears pin back, and his upper lip curls indicating he's ready for a little action. Say, girls, how about a date with this buck? But whatever the situation, romantic or just relaxing, danger is always foremost on a deer's mind. When danger's near, this deer ain't here. This catalog item is the popular camo tent. The alternative to a tree stand or a handcrafted blind is to purchase a ready-made commercial blind. These blinds are made of camo cloth and give you several openings for a clear view of the territory. They provide shelter, shade, and protection from pesky insects. You, you put us on an anthill. They are lightweight, easily pop into shape, and can be moved with ease. Get off! You spilled the deer urine. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't see. Oh, hell, take smell. your nail polish off. Oh, man, right. gotta straighten out. We gotta get downwind. All right. Oh, of course. Ow! Have you seen my gun? Here it is. The best time of day for still hunting deer is when the deer are on the move for feeding or drinking. Since he's on his feet, you can rest yours. Still hunting in a blind can be a little uncomfortable during the height of the winter season, and that's when a hunting partner comes in handy. He not only relieves you from your watch, but he supplies you with that welcome cup of hot java to ease that biting chill.
Where's the coffee? What? Where's the coffee? I want it hot. Hurry. Here. All right. Uh, well, here. Uh, I'll put it in for you. Okay. That's a couple of ups. Yeah. Hold that. Okay. Wait a minute. Sugar? Cream? Cream? Yeah. Great. There All right. You know. Okay, I'll take the first couple of hours, and you come back, and you take the next couple hours, okay? What? I'll take the first couple hours, and you come back, and then you take the next two hours, okay? Okay. I should have had one by then. What? I should have done. Never mind. <laughs> can afford concealment for the hunter and a perfect location to watch for an approaching deer. Once you've determined the deer's route, the rest is a waiting game. Oh, now, come on, will you? You just, it's easy. You just spike your way up the tree, you get up there, you drop the rope, and then we bring the stand up. Is that so hard? Why do I always have to climb the tree? Because you're stupid. No, just kidding. <laughs> because you're more agile than I am. You know, you got more monkey-like qualities. Yeah. Besides, you know I'm allergic to bark. Okay. Ah, boy. Great, great start. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. How's that? I'm gonna have to get up higher for heaven's sake. Put it right here. No, we can't. Let's go. Let me give you a little help. All right. And. No, no, no. Come on. Let's move that foot. Come on. Okay. Wait a minute. Ah. That's it. That's it. That's better. No, no, come on. Will you, Tim? Move it. I'm telling you, this is a good location. This is not a good location. We could be attacked by wild animal life here. What? We gotta get up there. <laughs> See, I told you it wasn't hard. Oh, you chug. Now, have you got that stand on a secure branch? Huh? Have you got it on a secure branch? No. Oh. <laughs> Hey, you bagged something. Oh. Great shot. Uh, get the camera. Right. The tree stand is probably the most important piece of equipment a hunter can have in his deer hunting arsenal. They provide a hidden viewing location for the hunter. I, uh, I think this is high enough. <laughs> it's, uh... Go on, can you go oh. any more? I can get a little higher than that. I... Uh... The hunter merely ratchets up the tree trunk with a stand attached. And when he reaches a comfortable height, he merely secures the stand and turns around to search for deer. You got that stand secured? Guess not. Getting up early to go hunting means a long day in the fresh air. If you're using a tree stand, that fresh air and long wait may mean hours of boredom. So make sure you are securely fastened to the tree with your safety belt. Or if you feel drowsy, make sure you come down for a little rest. <laughs> for an easy climb, consider the lightweight aluminum tree stand. I'm scared. Nothing to be scared of. Yeah. No, oh, believe me. Come on, just turn around. No, fall. No, you won't. I promise you. Turn yeah. around. Just turn around nice you and easy. You said it wouldn't hurt if you backed over my foot. That hurt. Oh, well, that was just a one-time thing. Now, just turn around. You catch me if I fall. No problem. OK. It says here, sample model. Oh, that, no, it isn't. Huh? I'm telling you, it's perfectly fine. What did you pay for this? A lot, believe me. Yeah. Oh. Easy, that's just bring your body around. Oh. That's it. Put, the, put your one foot through that loop, the other one comes around. This can't be right. Yes, it is, uh, Billy. I gotta come down. No, you're not. You're gonna be fine. Uh, oh, what? It's getting hot down here. You gotta be up here. Oh, man. Okay. Huh? Did you secure the stand first? What? 
The stand, did you secure it? No. Oh. Is the chair okay? The tube ladder is a quick way to reach a perch. Good. Got your rope? Great. Okay. Chop, chop. Can I have the poncho? Why? Oh, it looks so much no, better. It won't fit you. It's, a, it's an extra large. Besides, oh. that trash bag looks good on you. It's a very attractive look. Okay. Sorry we didn't use it in the fashion show. It's nice and warm, too. Oh, all right, all right. Get up. Okay. All right. And a boy. Are you sure you don't want to go up? No, 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 no. You go up. You're very live. Uh-huh. Very agile. Uh -huh. And a boy. Oh! I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah. You sure you don't want to climb up? No, no, no. You got, got your footing? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. The elevation isn't bothering no, you. No, 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 no. You haven't this... got a nosebleed or anything. Oh. oh. Great. Oh. Okay. It's high up here. It's okay. Ah. Don't look down. Ah. Oh. Right, let me know when you're set. Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Good, 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 good. It's going good. Oh. Wait. Okay. Oh. Hold it. Okay. I gotta put the belt on. All right. Ah. Oh, man. Ah. No, I There's just a, watch for huh? a deer. Uh, you got the belt securely strapped to the tree? No. Well, what do you got it secure to? The stand. Oh. Okay, are you all strapped in? Yeah. Strapped to the tree? Yeah. All right, do you see anything? No, I, I can Look see. Look around. Just leaves and the trees. Keep looking. I can't, it's raining. Oh. Yeah. It's all right, I got my poncho on. Wait, what? Something in the east. Bag the sucker. You uh, I need a windshield wiper. <laughs> uh, I hurt my I, eye. I, I, uh, you OK? Uh, where? Did you get her? No. My eye. Come on down. I can't. Maybe I better find a phone. No. Help! 911! Anybody? Huh? You got a man stuck in the tree. Huh? Any other hunters around? I should have put the bell fire. Help! What about lightning? That's oh, okay, you're grounded. Oh, hey, but I better get out of here. Help! If you plan to hunt at night, this hunter's safety light is a catalog item you may want to invest in. The safety light throws a blinking light that tells other night hunters you are in the area. This piece of equipment prevents other hunters from mistaking you for a moving target. See what we mean? Are you strapped into the tree? Yeah. Are you strapped into the stand? Right. So what's the problem? I can't see. It's too dark. Ah, this is where thinking comes in. I will shine this light into the forest. You look for their eyes. <laughs> That's a plan. I'll give it a shot. Hey, this tree is loaded with termites. When can I go home? As soon as you come down. I'm down. Can we go home now? Can I come back next week? No. Very good. Yeah, this is like a slow ballet. All right. Are you still speeding? <laughs> yeah, speeding. Excellent. You. Is that Tim's idea? Yep. You think he'd be farther along in his career thinking like that? <laughs> You me, pig! What about you, you bonehead? I'm the one that I'm the one that works it, but this thing sweats so start all over again. Catblaze, <laughs> popular broken branch patterns, beautifully highlighted with a blaze orange background. The hunters not only look smart, but this fashion statement screams trophy buck. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> Think they'll laugh at it in editing? Mm, probably not. Probably not. Probably won't even print it. Nope. They print tape. I don't think we're taping anything. Ah. Why don't they call cut? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet out here. Whew. Boy, I wish I had some water. Dental floss. I brought dental floss. <laughs> One nine. Okay, remember, just nudge it now, okay? Then the sound, the, the stunt. No, Tim, the stunt man. Oh. Oh, good. Oh, there goes the bed. I'm oh, gonna have a lot of fun out here. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Uh huh. That hurt? Uh uh. How the legs? Okay. Okay? Uh huh. How's this? Cough. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> Okay. okay. Let's try to get up. I can't. Oh, come on, man. You're spoiling my trip. Let's see if we can use a whole tape. Pain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Are you sure? Uh -huh. Are you okay? Uh, I don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. You don't think anything is broken, do you? No. You need oxygen? Uh-uh. Maybe a little mouth-to-mouth uh, -mouth resuscitation. Oh, I hope not. Oh. Where are you from? Come closer. Okay. Uh, what's your sign? What, what time do you get off? Uh. Okay, now get out of here. <laughs> oh God, help me! <laughs> Sixty. Cut it, Jen. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Automatic. Uh. Hi. Did you secure the stand first? What? The stand. Did did you secure okay, the stand? Okay, the stand. Oh, that's too slow, Howie. You gotta drop it faster. Howie, you hear me? Faster on the drop. Too fast, Howie. <laughs> I think I got it. How's it going? <laughs> well, it was a good thing. Did it work? <laughs> it worked great. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I think. Um. Okay, that's lunch. Half hour. <laughs> I will shine a light. I will shine a light into the forest. You look for their eyes. Ah. Go ahead. You want to take that again? No, let's oh. uh, from the top. <laughs> and give me from a light brown. Still rolling. <laughs> there we go. Still rolling. And from the top. Back. All right. Are you strapped into the tree? Right. Are you strapped into the all right. You better go. <laughs> Why are we rolling? Are you strapped into? I'll give it a shot. Come on. Okay, a... drop the tree. Okay, Tim. Okay, bring Tim up and get him down. Get him down. Don't let him down. Get him down. 
Boys, get Tim down. Guys, the rig is hung up. Can you stop it? We're working on it. We're out. I sure don't want to.